First of all, congrats. You just got called to the best mission in the world. i um, so excited for you. If I could go back and prepare for my mission again, I think one of the, the first things I would do is I would look up the, the missionaries in my area and I would go out with them. Um, you know, because you have this idea of what it's going to be like to teach someone and then you get to the MTC and then you think you have an idea of what it's going to be like to teach someone, but you really don't know until you actually get out there and you go to lessons and you start teaching. So that would be, um, if I could go back, I would definitely do that. I would go out with the missionaries and get a feel for how, how that works and how it feels. Um, another piece of advice I would give you is learn as soon as you can to find the balance between um, being yourself but being your best self. Um, what I mean by that is like on the mission there are of course a lot of rules and it's really important to be obedient um, but sometimes you can be so robotic and um, you know focused on obedience which is good that you kind of lose your own personality and you, you, you don't have fun you're just kind of going through the motions you're just, you're being diligent but I think you can be most effective as a missionary when you learn how to have fun and still follow the rules and still be yourself um, still have your personality because you were called to this mission because of your personality and uh, you know you'll just enjoy your mission more and you'll be able to help more people when you learn to find that balance learn to have fun um, and make, you know, obedience a quest rather than a, a chore. If you're learning a language, you know, start now to, to learn the language because the sooner you can do that, the sooner you can communicate with people. But uh, I'm so excited for you. Congratulations. And um, I hope you enjoy every minute of your mission.